Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new Animal Crossing New Horizons video. I don't even know what part this is. I stopped counting, but it is Sunday today. It is going to be the last Animal Crossing video for this week. Tomorrow I'm gonna get back to work. I still have two videos to edit and upload. Two Animal Crossing videos, not including this one. Two other videos. And the way this is gonna work is that I'm gonna be playing throughout the week. I'm gonna be recording any important stuff that happens during the week. And then, before starting the video, I will tell you guys what happened. Kinda like what I'm gonna be doing now. <laughs> So I didn't record yesterday, which was Saturday, and a lot of things happened actually. Mabel came to our town. Unfortunately, she didn't really have anything that I really wanted to buy. I went on a mystery island tour, and finally, I found a bamboo island. I brought home some bamboo. It was wonderful, everything that I wanted. Now my, the only thing I want is lilies. I want flipping lilies and I cannot find them. <laughs> And then at night time, Celeste came to our town, and whenever there are shooting stars in the sky, we can look at them and make wishes. But when are those going to happen? Who knows? I'm not sure, I haven't been able to figure out what exactly, how exactly the shooting stars happen and what exactly I need to look for. I don't know. But let's see what Isabel has to say for us here today. Right now, Bayberry, it is Sunday, it is morning, I want to see if I can find Daisy Mai. And hopefully she has good prices. <laughs> now for today's announcements. Today we have a visitor staying at the campsite. We do! Go meet our guests in person and find out more about them. We have a guest! Does that mean our town is looking somewhat nice? Because I don't feel like it's looking really nice, you know? My phone is ringing. How much money did I make? Yeah, <laughs> not a lot. Thank you for using the service. Hope to see you in the shop soon. I'll see you in a bit. Also, another thing that happened and that I, I didn't really record any footage of it. I start... Oh, Blue Bear! What is it? <gasps> I got a stain on my fave outfit! What do you do when things are just the worst? Well, this is what I do. <laughs> She gonna teach me an emotion. Some folks call it pouting, but I say it's me telling the world to quit being mean. Oh boy. Anywho, using your ovation can death make you feel better. See, I'm all good now, Peach. <laughs> oh my gosh. Great, now I can get angry. Something that I rarely do in real life. Thank you, Blue Bear. <laughs> I started a public works project for a brick bridge because I want to use brick paths on this town and that bridge is just perfect for it. I started up this thing over here, anyone can donate and I wonder if anyone has donated. Uh huh. Oh, somebody donated. We still have a long way to go though. <laughs> That's gonna take a really, really long time. <laughs> yeah, no worry, pal. But yeah, like the only part of the town that I'm kind of proud of is the beach. I think it looks very nice, very natural, like nature is kind of taking over. Mabel is in town again! Mabel! Maybe she noticed that I didn't really buy anything yesterday and she's like, I gotta come back tomorrow to really make bank. To whoever lifted this, I was pumping iron super sweaty when I slipped and a DIY idea and a weight slammed into my head. <laughs> I was so amped up, I did triple set right then. Oh, and I wrote this. I really super hope you use it. Swole crafter scoots, a wild log bench. Interesting. Okay, let's go take a look at that actually. Oh, it's just a log. That would actually be really cool to have on the beach next to the campfire. Daisy May, You're so cute. Hello there, I'm Daisy May. I'm helping Graham Graham Joan out selling your garden grown turnips. I'm here every Sunday morning selling turnips, so swing on by to see me when you can. Oh, boy, Dizzy May, you forgot sales pitch. <laughs> Graham Grams told me enough times. I, I don't remember how this goes by now. 
So do you want to hear about how So Jones stock market works? Uh, actually, I do. Hmm, okay. You can do this. <laughs> So turnips are a cute little root vegetable that are good for pickling or stewing. Ugh, Grand Gram always says that the stock market, turnips are for selling, not eating, I always forget. Anyway, if you time things right, they can be mighty nutritious for your bank account. Should I keep going with the, with the explanation? Sure. Okay. Now let's see then. Oh yeah, the whole point of buying out our turnips is so you can turn around and sell them at a profit. Graham Graham always says something about him turning up a profit. I don't exactly get it. Anyway, you know Timmy, right? He's always in the market for buying when it comes time for you to be selling. Should I keep going? Yeah, <laughs> keep going. Okay, this is a real important part, so I'm gonna try my best to explain carefully. You don't want to buy these turnips and keep them for too long, they'll rot after one week. Okay, so it is exactly the same, that's all I wanted to know. So if you buy some from me on a Sunday, you gotta remember to sell them before the next Sunday. Mm -hmm. Graham Graham always says there's nothing worse than a tent full of rotten turnips, but it ain't true. Losing all those hard earned bells you spent on them is worse. Okay, that's the old speech. So right now turnips are going for 92 bells, that's actually really good. I will buy some. Are you selling them in blocks of 10? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh gosh, I don't know. Let's buy... Yeah, we can do a little bit more than that. Um, no, 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 not that much. Is that too much? I'm gonna go with it. <laughs> All right, so 120 turnips comes to 11,040 bells. Does that sound okay to you? Yeah, I'll buy them. I hope I have inventory space. Do they all just stack up in... in one? I don't know. Turnips, turnips, watch them rise, try to earn a nice surprise. Oh, she's so cute. I probably got some milestones points for that. These are my first turnips! Heck yeah! Okay, so she's just gonna be roaming around the town, I guess. And if I go to Timmy right now, I don't think there's going, going to be like a price for them. Oh, my money tree has grown. Maybe I can buy more turnips. Oh, my bridge. <laughs> oh, my bridge. It's gonna take forever to be built. I see Zucker. Yes, back for more. <laughs> I'll buy like... Oh, if I lose <laughs> all of my profit, I'm gonna cry. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Bring him over. <laughs> oh, she's so precious. Turnips, turnips, watch him rise. Try to earn a nice surprise. Okie dokie, Daisy May. I'm actually gonna go talk to me. I don't think he's gonna be buying them now. But maybe in the afternoon, the price will change. Dom, that's a really nice bag you got there. Hey, hey, Didaru, you good? What's the latest? Gotta start the day off right. Muscles are a lifestyle in Didaru. So you're just lifting your little bag <laughs> as you walk around town. I get you. What is sucker? There he is, reading a magazine and inspecting the weed. Hmm. Hi, how are you doing? Bayberry is a perfect size. Too big to see cross, but too small for a sea monster to attack. Gosh, Zucker, that's a bit dark. We already have ghosts here. <laughs> Don't bring a sea monster in. Oh, dude. That was really nice. Oh, yeah. Come here. Oh, that's a lot of turnips. Oh, I think I know what these are. Oh, not the color I was expecting. But I still want my dress. Like, I designed another one, but I don't really like it that much. I don't like how it turned out. Or actually... Uh, 
no, I'm still not a big fan of it. I don't know if it is the color that is like white and it, it doesn't doesn't look that well because it's hard to give details to something that is white and not make it too exaggerated. So I went with like a really light gray, but it's very hard to tell the details. But if I make it darker, I, I don't think it looks nice. So I'm still stuck with the first outfit I made. <laughs> I don't want to use QR codes. Like in New Leaf, I made a few, but I would scan a lot. Uh, but I, I want to make some. I want to make stuff that is mine and be proud of it, you know? Mabel, what you got? I spent almost all my money. <laughs> How can I help you today? What's on sale? You got it. Here's what I'm selling today. We got... Oh, actually... <gasps> we have boomers at. I'll buy. Take my money. Actually, there's a really cool outfit that we can make out of the clothes that she has here. And the skirt would go well with the um, tulip pad that I got. That would be nice for another outfit. I'm, I might buy all the stuff she has here. Mabel, you're gonna get me bankrupt. <laughs> gonna buy the socks. I mean, maybe if we spend like a lot of money, she'll open up the shop. So maybe this is good. I'm just gonna buy everything. Okay, and now the shirts. I just got an outfit for a video. <gasps> no, my pockets. Okay, wait. Not this. Let me wear this just for the day be fun let me wear the socks let me wear these shorts and now I'm just missing shirts come on yes I did it's the shorts <laughs> it's gonna go so well with the outfit and I don't know what kind of shoes she has but she has some shoes and I wonder when kicks comes to town It's some rain boots, I don't want them. Let me go put on shirts. Look at this outfit. I'm just like Boomer right now. <laughs> the penguin. My inventory is a little bit full, but I'm still gonna check out what's for sale today. My wallet is a little bit empty. <gasps> Does that stereo have hearts in the speaker? Or are my eyes deceiving me? I am sitting in a different spot today. Lily decided to have the couch all for herself today. <laughs> the cute music player. I wonder if we can customize it. Oh my goodness. I don't have space for anything else. Actually, I want to sell the, the pants that I got. Oh, now we have a policy in place of not buying turnips on Sundays. I'm sure you understand. Yeah. So not even this afternoon they're gonna buy it. Actually, I don't want the striped socks that I started the game with. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sold. <laughs> Let me see here. What do you have in the cabinets? Do you have lilies? I'm having such a bad time finding lilies. Like, are they supposed to be rare? I don't get it. I really don't. This floor could be cool to have. Yeah, I'll buy it. And I'll be it. Okay, I still have to check the campsite, but before we do... Let me go inside the resident services, see if we have any changes here. Because we do have a gas now at the campsite. <gasps> we do have something new. Tom, what is it? Isabel mentioned it in today's broadcast, but today we have our first guest over at the campsite. That was really quick. If you have time, or even if you don't have time, make sure make time and go check in on our guest and if you get an opening try talking them into moving to Bayberry what if I don't like them <laughs> the bright future of the asylum depends on you I have faith in you thanks Tom at least you do have <laughs> faith in me I don't 
Hmm. What should I do, Tom? You always have such great advice. Uh-huh. Okay, so I, I need to check in on them before I progress with the story. I get you. Hi, Isabel. Good morning. How can I help you today? Actually, I'm good for now. I just want to say hi. <laughs> I'm sorry to disturb you. Okay, I'll be going. <laughs> oh, we have a Zen fence today and some vertical board fence. This could be interesting to place like around the houses. I'm gonna get it. Mm, actually, yeah, but not here, but like on the nook shopping. Do we have anything today? Oh, shoot. <laughs> mm, nah, nah, I'm not gonna buy anything. I only have 5,000 bells. I'm broke. Okay, so shall we go check out the campsite? I think we shall. Blue pear? Is it hot today? <laughs> it was Latote's the best having... Oh, m my other island self visit? What a top-notch bestie coming all the way from Lilypad to hang out here, Peach. Don't you dare move there. <laughs> You're good here. Like, I don't know if villagers can, like, move to other people's islands. Because in New Leaf, that was a thing. If you had friends over and they talked to your villagers, sometimes they would leave you <laughs> for them as a person. Okay, guys, let's go in. Oh my gosh, who is it? Oh, it's Pietro! <laughs> Buongiorno! The name is Pietro. Glad to see I'm the first one using this campsite. Oh my gosh. And you live on this island, don't you? I figured, yeah, I'm pretty good at reading people. I can even tell that you're really gonna enjoy having me here. Hmm. What's your opinion on Pietro people? The thing is that I have Dom and he's a sheep as well. We currently have in our town three freaking bears. <laughs> if I bring in another sheep, Zucker is going to be completely left out. <laughs> I wouldn't mind having him here. Let's talk to him. See what the process is. I don't know, maybe I'm just imagining things, but I feel like everyone wants me to move here. Tom wants to you to move here. I don't know why. It's just this vibe, you know, like when you can tell you're going to get the part in a car commercial. <laughs> Oh, see, the game doesn't even let me reject him. <laughs> this is unfair. You should live here. Like, uh, it's up to you, you know? Wow, I'm honored. An exclusive invitation to an exclusive island for celebrities and entourages. <laughs> There's just one little thing. I'd hate for it to be so exclusive that it's just me. Can you go check with, like, the VIP manager of the old island first? Just so I know this is legit. <laughs> Sure thing. Couldn't I? My fate is in your hands. How many languages do you speak, Pietro? Been all over the world, buddy, haven't you? Has he been going to like everyone's islands <laughs> all around the world and they've been turning him down? I do know some people don't like him. But like he's cute. I get it is a clown. Clowns shall not be trusted. But he's cute. <laughs> like, look at Dom. He's also a sheep and he's adorable. Aren't you dumb? That bridge opens up so many more workouts in the other room. So far, I've just been jumping the river to train agility, but with the bridge, I can do endurance sprints too. You know, there's another bridge that I'm planning on building, Dom, if you want to donate some of your bells. You know, just, just say it. Okay. Tom, I talked to Pietro. He's a bit stuck up. But... You know, it's up to you, Tom. What do you want me to do? Ah, welcome back. My sister tell me you've been to see our guest at the campsite, huh? How did it go? Ah, uh, he wants to live here. What, really? Claudia, you've done it, and so quickly. I... I had no option to turn him down. 
then this means we have no time to waste. Hmm, our next course of action will be building a new home. Now, Claudia, since you closed the deal with our new visitor, you should be the one to pick the location for a new home. Leave it to me? I guess he's moving in. <laughs> I knew you agreed to it. Poor Zucker is gonna be completely alone. Completely left out. You'll need a housing kit to set aside a pot for their home. Come back when you have a room to carry it. Oh, my inventory is full. And now to change the subjects. This is the construction consultation counter. Tom, I, I, that was it. That was all I want to talk about. Goodbye. Let's see, I can learn this thing. And that will free up some of my inventory space. Mm-hmm. Can you give me more than one? <sighs> well, that means that we're not gonna be able to find any other villagers during, uh, like, Mystery Island, island tours, right? Because now they're only gonna be able to move in through the campsites. That sucks. It was exciting to go to an island and see who the heck was gonna be there. It would always be a nice surprise. And you could try it, like, multiple times a day and get different villagers every single time. What the heck is this? Oh, rank A, congratulations. This time your home scored 10,000 points or more. So we're sending along a commemorative gift. Hope you like it. Nice. Don't have space for that. Thank you. <laughs> okay, where the heck am I gonna be building this house? You see, I, I haven't really thought about the placement of the other houses. I know I'm gonna want to move a lot of stuff here on the island. Like a good place that I have thought about before is, you know, that area where we have like two waterfalls. It's a bit noisy, but maybe it won't bother Pietro too much. And you know, it is the best location in town, pretty much. And that area is exactly up. Oh my God, no, 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 no. Can I run in? Okay, good, good, good. Okay. It would be right here. We have a waterfall right here. And then a one over here. Uh, I would have to dig up the flowers first before placing the house, but let me just simulate this. Hmm. Maybe it's a little too close to the hill. But yeah, I think this is gonna be the place for it. It's a little far away from everything at the moment, but it's gonna work. I'm gonna have to drop the turnips. There's too many of them. <laughs> okay. Now I probably have room to pick this up. Let's see. This would... It looks centered. And it looks nice. Yeah, it is a good spot. Well, this makes it official. Okay, let me go pick everything up if I can. Okay, I'll... Can I plant a flower? I can't plant flowers that I picked up. That sucks. Um, Swap. Let me go plant flowers around here. Cool, cool. Okay. Should I go talk to Tom first? Probably to let him know that everything is set up and ready to go and whatnot. Let me go pick up my present. I earned that score. I don't know how, but I earned it. What did I get? A pennant. What is it now? Oh, oh yeah, I ordered a beach chair, but it's not for me. It's for my other islands, because in my other islands, all the beach chairs that I get are blue, but here they are pink, and you know I love pink. <laughs> oh, it is supposed to go on the wall? Um, okay. Oh, it actually... Yeah. Looks kind of cool. Okay, I'll leave it there for now. Where am I going? <laughs> I need to talk to Tom. Oh my gosh, Blue Bear. She did the exact same thing yesterday. <laughs> like, she, she's been working out. Well, did you find a place for us to build a new home? I sure did. 
fine news indeed. We don't want to keep our customer waiting, so I'll proceed with construction at supersonic speed. We want our new island friends to start their lives here quick, as quickly as possible, after all. Hmm, this has got me thinking. We can't predict when someone will want to move here. But scrambling to secure a plot only when the need arises is much too a hazard a way of doing business. Part of improving infrastructure will set aside plots in advance and put them up for sale. Yes! Thank you. I'll have to change the small processing fee, but if we get a buyer who moves in, I'll give you miles as a reward. I do hope I can count on your help again. So you're gonna give me more plots, Tom? Hand them over. What should I do? I think the word of mouth about this island will spread once more folks start living here. We need any visitors who come to Bay Berry to be blown away by wonder how wonderful our island is. I want you to put in some work, whether it's pulling weeds, planting flowers, or outdoor decorating. And don't forget what we discuss about infrastructure. Oh. Let's talk infrastructure. Sell some land. <gasps> yes, yes. Maybe if I visit a mystery island today, I'll find some villagers. I do have a charge. Charge a small fee of 10,000. I don't have that, Tom. <laughs> I spent it all on turnips. <laughs> God dang it. Oh, some other time, Tom. Maybe I can ask Pietro for some money and he won't question it. He's gonna think it's about his new home. He's gonna think that he's paying for news, his new home, but he's not. <laughs> oh, maybe I do have some saved up from selling stuff. Maybe I'll, I'll go check it out. The first, let's go talk to Pietro. Ahoy, that's a little bit of local flavor for you. It means, what's up, Hong Kong? <laughs> You've got good news for me or what? Seriously, you got me a personal red carpet and my own VIP cabana. That's Pietro for an invitation and my home place to live. All right, now I've really got to get my get back to my own island and get my things in order. Hasta la vista, Claudia. You so so. It's all done. I feel like visiting this place has made me a new sheep. <laughs> I'm more worldly with a newfound appreciation for hard work. I even considered doing a little roller skating. Can you believe it? Oh, Pietro. <laughs> Welcome to Bayberry. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna check out my bank. <gasps> we have a fish in the pond. That never happens. When is the first fish tournament? I don't know. Oops. <laughs> Look at them all busy doing their own thing. Tom is just reading some magazine or something. Do I have any money? Okay, a uh, withdrawal. I do have enough. But I'm gonna be completely broke. <laughs> you know, it's fine because if I hit the money rock today, everything is gonna be fine. Okay, Tom, so let's talk infrastructure. I want some. Oh, actually, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> Shoot. Let's try this again. Sell some land. Uh huh. Yes. Mm hmm. Okay. No, that, that's it, Tom. Thank you. Oh my goodness. So what would a good location be for another house? Maybe next to the hard pond, but I don't know. Or maybe on the other side of the river from Pietro's house. That could also work. Yeah, all of the other house locations that I'm thinking of are like on top of hills. That center hill that you are seeing is going to be for the museum. So I don't want to put anything on the tippy top. Of the island? Hi! Can you guess what I'm doing? Uh, I am a... Uh, I'm sitting, bloop! <laughs> I haven't seen Megan yet. And look at my beautiful bamboo trees. They are gorgeous! 
my gosh, Megan House is so pretty. I want it for myself. Hi, Megan. Oh, oh, you're busy. Thanks for coming by, Sandai. I want to chat. You remember our recent visitor, Claudia? I guess maybe I should have asked if you remembered our recent vis visitor. Messy girl. <laughs> How dare you, Megan? <laughs> if someone earns a title like that, the least we can do is use it. <laughs> I put it in as a joke. <laughs> I didn't think they would remember me for that. Oh my gosh, Megan. <laughs> So you know your passport, you can change your title. My title at the moment is Lucky Star, but I, I changed mine on the other island to Messy Girl. And freaking Megan remembered. <laughs> so that's Pietro's house. I was thinking of putting one on the other side. But it's gonna clash a little bit with... Um, with the heart pond, or is it not? Where's the heart pond? <laughs> Oh, it's on the level below. Okay, yeah, this can totally work. I just hope that it is like in line with Pietro's house. Because I don't know if it is. I can't tell. Can I bring in my camera app and like go to that side? I don't know, it looks like... Mm. Wait, let me cross the other side again. Everything needs to be perfect. Okay, even if we can change the location of things later on, it, it's gonna cost us money. Money that I don't have. So, I better just play it safe. Don't wear. It's playing around. So now if I cross the other side, I can kind of tell. Yeah, yeah. It's supposed to be right here. Oh boy, let me imagine it. But I think this is gonna be it. Okay. So this time we don't need to make furniture? Guess not. It's available. Does the other one say that it is for Pietro? Oh, oopsie, my flowers. Yeah, he probably says so. Oh, Pietro. <laughs> okay, shall we do some island tours? I have one ticket. I'm gonna drop my turnips here on the floor. Hopefully no one takes them. I don't think they will. What am I doing? Drop. 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 Mm, what's this? Microwave. Drop it. Maybe this is good. Let's go see this. Hey, 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 welcome to your one and only getaway to the skies, the Bay Area Airport. How can I help you out today? I wanna fly, Orville. Mm-hmm. Let's use our Nook Miles ticket. Hope for a villager there. That's all I want. I want more villagers to move in. Okay, it's a tulip island. Still looking for those lilies. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna... It's gonna take me ages. Oh, we found Charlize, another bear. Are you kidding me? Is this all I'm gonna get for my islands? <laughs> Just pears. I don't think we've met. My name's Charlize. What's yours? Claudia, huh? Where are you from? Bayberry. Cool, cool. You here for some R&R &R too? This little island's great. It's so nice being able to chill out in the middle of absolutely nowhere. Anyway, I'll let you soak up the peace and peace. Take care. Okay, Charlize. Man. Like, the game wants me to have a bear town. <laughs> The bear and sheep town. I will not allow this. Okay, we have a bottle over here. Hmm. Yo, future DIY lover. I was pumping hide and super sweaty when I slipped again. But this time it's from Frobert. Beekeeper's hive. Okay. What does that look like? Oh, it is literally a beekeeper's hive. Will it attract honeybees? Okay, we do have a fish up there. 
so I'm gonna go up. I'm gonna do some fishing. <laughs> That's like the only thing I can think of doing. I might buy another ticket. No, too far away. We got a pill shop. Oh, I never caught it before? Okay, good. Good, good, good. <laughs> Guys, we got gold ore. And from what I heard, we're gonna need gold ore to craft golden tools, which are more durable than the tools we have right now. We have some, ooh. We have a big fish shadow in the lake. And also, I don't like you, go away. Go away, go away, go away. Uh, apparently you guys are real. <laughs> As if my fear of regular mantis wasn't enough. There has to be other kinds of mantis. What a messed up world I live in. <laughs> I don't feel safe anymore. Do you have any fish over here? No. Apparently there's a... F I don't know if it is a gar or a sturgeon that can only spawn over here in this area. And apparently this is a really good layout to find it. But I'm not really too worried on, you know, completing the museum like too fast. You gotta do things slowly. This is Animal Crossing. You're probably gonna be playing it for years. <laughs> They're not gonna come up with another Animal Crossing game in a while. Okay, well, but I think I'm ready to go home and buy another ticket. <laughs> if I get another bear or a cub or a sheep, I am gonna go crazy. <laughs> I'll take any villager as long as it's not a bear or a sheep. <laughs> Will I regret these words? I don't know, we shall find out. Mm -hmm. What is Isabel doing? Is she smelling the flowers? Where the heck is Tammy? Where's my girl Tammy? Haven't seen her in days. She's crafting. Sup, need me for something? What you doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? It's official Tammy has gone insane. <laughs> Check it out, I'm making a wooden block bench. Wait, this DIY stuff takes a major elbow grease, so I like to go all in on it. It's a worth the, it's a worth the effort though. You want to give it a whirl, making a wooden block bench? I mean, you heard. I can show you if you want, please. Does it go with the block, the other block furniture we have? Because if it does, oh my gosh. Wait, wait, no, no. Let me learn. Oh, it is. It, it does go with the um, with the block team furniture that we already have learned. Oh my gosh! That means we can make it pastel. Thank you, Tammy. Another Bevo Island. Okay. Oh, it's another freaking bear. I am cursed. <laughs> Guys, I am freaking cursed. I don't know what to do anymore. Are you Groucho? What's your name? I actually don't know you. It's Groucho, okay. Wasn't expecting to run into, well, much of anyone out here. Whatever here is, exactly. Anyway, I'm Groucho, and you're Claudia from Bayberry. Wasn't expecting a meet and greet on this tour, but then again, I ain't sure what I expected to find here. This island's actually pretty cool. And I don't know if these are bamboo shots or if they are fossils, so I'm gonna dig them up. Bamboo shots. So if you don't know, bamboo works exactly the same way as it did in previous games. If you want to bring bamboo home with you, you don't shop the, these bamboos down. You gotta dig up the seeds. And this is what you gotta plant if you want to have bamboo back at your island. I'm gonna get a lot of bamboo shots today. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick up these coconuts. I'm gonna eat them. And I'm gonna bring some fully grown bamboo trees back home. They're not gonna be for me. They're gonna be for my other island because I've been super unlucky there. I've been doing a lot more mystery tours there. 
that I'm doing here on this island and I haven't encountered the freaking bamboo island yet. And on Bayberry I don't really want to use that much bamboo, but on Lilypad I want to use a lot of bamboo. Let me start digging these up. Oh! You gotta be kidding me! I have one stick, that's not gonna be enough for me to build another shovel. Oh, I need hardwood. And I don't even think I have a stone axe <laughs> to get said hardwood. Hmm, that's great. I think I can't do anything else <laughs> on this island. Wilbur, how much for a tool? Hmm, 100. It's not a whole lot. Let me get another shovel. Yeah, let's get it. Can I upgrade it? Because if not, this is not gonna last me for long. I can. Okay, good. It's the last one. If we get another bear. Oh my gosh. Wait, wait, are those pink flowers I see? <gasps> we got boo! We got boo! My inventory is a little bit full, but let's... I'm gonna bring as many pink flowers as I can. <laughs> Release this fish, we don't need it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. How hard is it to get blue flowers through breeding? Is that a freaking mantis all the way over there? Boo, do you want to move to my town? <laughs> I said I would take any villager. <laughs> oh, my inventory is full. I only have one blue. I'm gonna drop this. I'm just gonna drop the things that I don't really need. I'm gonna bring two blues. Honestly, blue is not really a color that I really like, especially not in this shade. Like if it was lighter, sure, that blue is pretty. This one I'm not a big fan of. Hello, Boo! Oh hey, nice to meet you, I'm Boo! Cool, so you're Claudia from Bayberry, man, that's really cool. Let's have some fun while we're here together, Salt Lake. This island has so much nature, every place you look is nature, it's really neat. I could stay here forever pointing at stuff saying that's nature. Yeah, Boo is also a lazy villager. It'd be real neat to live on an island like this full time, I mean, just living life pointing at nature. Want to come to mine? You live on Bayberry, right? Is it like this air too? Yeah, Boo was just saying the same dialogue as Zucker did. I'll be waiting for you. Just talk to Tom. He's super excited to have new residents. Trust me. He'll take anyone. <laughs> How's my inventory looking? I can bring one more pink flower. Oh, but I wanted to bring them all. <laughs> this hell is awesome. Gosh darn, I can't get rid of anything else. Well, wait, I have... Drop this. And that too. Who cares? I think I have more of that. How many pink flowers? Quatro, cinco, seis, sete, oito, nove, dez. I have ten. Is that in the flowers? No, it isn't. I'm considering leaving the bamboo behind just to bring the flowers with me. Boo, you brought me luck. I'm not gonna have space for this. Mm, but I want the flowers. I'm gonna have to go down. I don't know if I'm gonna have space to plant trees. <laughs> there has to be space. Maybe if I pick up some flowers already, we'll be good to go. These are really pretty, but I still really like the other ones, the other new ones we got. Like, even the red looks like, what kind of fish is that? It's super big. Sorry. Gotta go. <laughs> what are you? Are you a carp? A sea bass? A black bass got back in the river, or lake, or whatever it is, let it go. We don't need it. Yay! <laughs> and now I have 14 pink flowers. Is that enough? No, it will never be enough. 
but it is what I can carry. For the other two plots, what I might do is just see who moves in randomly, because that is kind of fun. Not knowing he's gonna move in. And this is where I'm gonna be ending this video. So I do hope you guys enjoyed it, and until the next video, goodbye everybody!